Thank you for joining this um, episode of Secrets of Health TV, where we discuss nothing but um, health issues, and we also dedicate time to answer people's questions they normally give us. Uh, in today's video, as usual, I am here to give a reply to one uh, subscriber and a viewer, which uh, goes by name Saeed Mahmoud, Saeed Mahmoud uh, from South Africa. Saeed Mahmoud from South Africa. Uh, he says, hello, doctor. Hope you are well. My name is Saeed Mahmoud. What can someone use for kidney pain? May Allah give you more wisdom. I am sending from South Africa. Yes, so Saeed, Saeed Mahmoud want to know uh, what are some of the remedies for kidney pains in case you have any disorder or you have any kidney you know, problem. So in today's video, uh, I am going to give him an answer and I'm using this opportunity to also, you know, highlight a few things about the kidney. So if this happens to be the very first time, please uh, kindly watch this video all the way to the end and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Select all so that anytime we come your way with videos such as this one, um, you will be the very first person to get, you know, notified. Like the video share and then if you have any health topic you want me to discuss uh don't don't hesitate let me know at the comment you know area now kidney uh, we all know uh what the kidneys are we have they are organs which are situated you know both left and then right uh just behind this part of the body so you see where my hand is located yes uh, those areas uh, around this area uh -huh. so this is where you find your the kidney you understand that is the situation that is the location of the kidneys and what the kidney does is one it's what it it regulates the potassium levels in the what in the body okay uh -huh. because uh, too much potassium in the body is not good and then too small or a very low potassium too in the body is not also good so it is the responsibility of the kidney to what to i mean as it were you know regulate the what the potassium levels so that is the first um work of the kidney or function of the kidney another function of the kidney is that it also regulates the heartbeat so as you sit and watch this video your heart is beating very normal, very cool, nothing is happening to it. Uh, give thanks to God and give thanks to the kidney. You understand? Because it is the kidney which is regulating the heart, which is telling the heart to beat at a certain point or at a certain limit or at a certain rate. So that is exactly the reason why most people who are suffering from kidney or who are having issues regarding their kidney, uh, they normally suffer from irregular heartbeat because the heart is the regulator uh, the kidney is the regulator for the what for the heart so it tells you clearly that without the kidney the heart will, will what will find it difficult to what uh, to beat i hope you understand so that is how the, the uh, that is another function of the kidney now the third function of the kidney is to filter out toxins I hope you understand it is to filter out toxins from your from your body in the form of urine and then in the form of sweat so the kidney is 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 filters all unwanted all rejected toxins all rejected substances from your blood and then bring it out in the form of urine with the help of the nephrons that is why each kidney is having millions of nephrons within it you understand so uh, it is important that your kidney functions very well so it passes all these unwanted unwanted substances or toxins out through the urine and then through sweat so mostly you realize that most people who are having issues with their kidney most of them finds it difficult to urinate within a day and at the same time, they also find it difficult to what to to, to 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 sweat or to experience sweating. They don't sweat. 
So all these toxins will remain into the system and the body will push all these unwanted sort of toxins and substances into the what the feet, into the feet, the, the hands, the joints, the legs, the face, where where are where where there is any you know space, all these unwanted substances or toxins will be what will be pushed there. That is why uh, mostly uh, most people who are facing kidney issues they normally have swollen feet and swollen legs and swollen faces here when there. it is because the kidney has failed to what to, to filter out some of these things. I hope you understand. So basically these are uh, the three major you know um, functions of the kidney. There are other several ones but I think these are the notable you know functions of the what of the kidney. Now uh, we have several you know disorders of the kidney we have you know kidney stones which is the buildup of calculi as a result as a result of too much you know protein intake uh calculi or stones uh, but medically we call it calculi calcification calculi can just build up inside your kidneys and destroy some of the nephrons because it is the nephrons which watch which filters out these things the the neutral the nephrons are like sieve are like a sieve they sieve they filter so uh that is why god in his own wisdom created millions of nephrons inside each kidney okay millions of nephrons inside each what each kidney just to make sure or just to give the kidneys you know the ability to what to to filter out some of these things so if at the end of the day the kidney is built is having a buildup of calculi inside it these nephrons will end up you know get destroyed i hope you understand so kidney stones is one of the disorders or is one of the things that normally you know uh, um, affect the kidney and then we also have kidney infections okay kidney infection which is uh, uti uh, kidney infection which is as a result of urinary tract infection when a person is suffering from uti or any of the urinary tract infections the likelihood that the person will end up suffering from kidney infection is also high and anytime the kidney gets infected mostly it affects the what it affects the nephrons so another you know factor and then another you know factor that causes or another thing that affects the kidney is what we call um, diabetic nephropathy. Diabetic nephropathy. Uh, when a person is suffering from chronic diabetes and the diabetes is not, you know, uh, going and the, there is too much buildup of, you know, uh, sugar in the person's body, uh, sometimes the kidney tries to, uh, to filter out some of excess, some of these excess sugars. So as the sugar is passing through the nephrons, which is the sieve, for the kidney or for the body uh, the sugar will just will end up decaying the sugar will end up decaying the what the nephrons i hope you understand huh? so the sugar will end up decaying the nephrons and affecting the nephrons to get destroyed so we call it diabetic nephropathy so these are some of the notable you know uh, uh, things that affect the kidney now uh, pains from the kidney. We are now coming back to the the, 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 the the question. Pains in the kidney or pains from the kidney. One, um, causes of the pains or things that can make the kidney to uh, to to get inflamed is one. Calculi, calculi build up, which build up, which is the kidney stones. So anytime you realize that your kidney is paining you, it is a clear indication that uh, there is um, a build up of calculi inside your what your your kidneys i hope you understand and uh, infection too or uh, inflammation too can cause that pains now what to use you already have seen them or have seen it on your screen from the beginning uh you can see on your screen um coconut husk yes coconut husk uh coconut husk is very friendly you know to the kidney any kidney disorder you have or you are facing I recommend you go for coconut husk. All you need to do is to gather a few of the coconut husk. You can choose to add little ginger to it. 
and then boil it. When you boil it, make it your daily water. This one, no dosage. When it comes to coconut husk, I don't give a specific dosage. Make it your daily water. Okay, make it at least make sure you, you are done. You are done within the by the close of the day. You drink about one liter, 1.5, getting to two liters of coconut husk tea. Very, very important. Make it your daily because, like I indicated, it is uh, friendly to what? To the kidney. Okay, so as you keep on doing it, uh, by the grace of God and the will of God, um, you are going to the pain, the pains will subside and it will even go ahead to dissolve the kidney. Because it is also one of the things you can use to dissolve, you know, kidneys with it. I hope you understand. So I think uh, that is that. Is that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, kindly share the video to your friends and family and people around you. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, kindly do that. Uh, and then click on to the not notification bell. You select all so that next time you come your way with like this, you get notified. And then... Uh, have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye.